is of employment is uh, on its way up. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. We round off this debate on the uh, Finance and Expenditure Committee's meeting uh, uh, report. Rather, it's been two hours of my statistics bigger than your statistic, <laughs> and uh, I just want to follow up on a couple of those statistics that Mr. Parker raised because they were indeed quite right. Now, he did say that net debt, when this government came to office, was zero. Well, that's not quite right. It was $10 billion, but it would be churlish of me in the context of that to say that that was a significant error. It was 5% of GDP. It was certainly much lower than when they first assumed office, although the point around gross debt is uh, misunderstood. Gross sovereign debt actually went up under the previous Labor government, not down. Yes, it did. It went from $34.4 billion to $34.7 billion. Net debt certainly went down. Here's also something that Mr Parker said. He said that that debt has now ballooned out to $60 billion. And Mr Parker's right. What he didn't say was that had this government continued the trajectory left by the previous Labor government, it would have been much more than $60 billion. As Mr McClay points out, net debt was going to go to 60 per cent of GDP unless somebody, so some the things would change. The time for this debate has expired. The question is, odd up, having a vote. The question is that the report of the Finance and Expenditure Committee on the annual financial statements of the government for the year ended 30th of June 2014 be noted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. No. Party votes called no. for. No party vote. The ayes have it then. Members, we now turn to the second